that's where things are. Um, and I think you can see it already. Ryan is just cooler, calmer, and already making a difference for um, for Arsenal. So that one was interesting, and I didn't think that that was at all controversial <laughs> to say. This game was very even. 13 shots for both, six on target for Arsenal, five for Spurs. Um, Arsenal did go up twice and get pegged back twice. I think where they're really going to feel shitty and feel upset about it is the second goal. Uh, handball by Romero. It's on the line. That they had to go to VAR for this was a surprise to me, or that it took so long. Was not called on the pitch, but it was a clear handball. Um, is it harsh? Do we know what handballs are? Do we know how this stuff works anymore? Who the hell knows? But handball, he's on the line. He's blocking a goal. So Romero gets the handball call. And from there, Arsenal feel they're in good shape. They're usually a strong defensive unit. They usually control things really well. And I, I, they probably felt like we're up to one at home. We're going to see this out. But there was something about Arsenal that didn't have control in this game that you could see with Spurs. They just kept going. They were relentless with how they were going to play. They played out from the back every time. They pressed every time. You knew what they were going to do. They got in your face every time. Spurs never changed how they were going to play. And I don't think that Arsenal really picked up on that. And then Sun just gets right in uh, after the mistake by uh, Jorginho. He gets caught on the ball. Madison plays him in. So Madison assists both Sun uh, Sonny's goals. The first goal uh, on 42 at the end of the first half was really great. He spins Saka around, gets to the byline, cuts it inside for a really sharp diagonal run from Sun. Only Sun scores the goals like that. Really, really good. And then, of course, on the Arsenal side, they feel, they got to feel like the first half was theirs and they should have really had a couple. Uh, they should have been up 2-0 uh, on, I said, the, the Gabriel Jesus miss. But um, Spurs kept plugging away, kept playing the way that they play, kept on showing that they belong, showing that they are ready for this fight. Arsenal have already been in the fight. They've This is now year two of their fight where they're supposed to kick on. It's sputtering a little bit. So they're not bad. I think Arsenal are still really good. I still think Arsenal can win the league. I still think they have a good team. I still think it's all there. But it's not grooved. They're in year two. They're in the second phase. They're in the, hey, how do we get better on the margins phase? How do we improve? We, we went from Partey to Declan Rice. We went from Ramsdale to Raya. We've gone from Granite Shaka. Now we're trying out Harvard. So there's some pieces that aren't right. Um, but for Spurs, they're in the effervescent phase. They're in the this is the beginning. We, we're seeing the light. We've got pasta cod glue. We've got We've got Basuma playing like crazy. We've got Saar. The midfield for um, for Spurs was very, very good. They have so many things to be happy about. And this draw is a positive spin for them. Uh, I know Chris was Chris was arguing with me, um, and we'll probably talk about it on Monday, just that, hey, Spurs should feel like they should have won this. I think they're not ready for that. They're not really at that point yet. Uh, they may be later on, but I think for them, this is a first step of going, okay, We've played well. We have have this new style. We have this new coach. Now we're going away to the Emirates, and they're going to start passing hurdles if they are indeed where they 